hi guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel and um here's another video tutorial for you a side drips uh skirt tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys like this video if you find it helpful and also turn on the notifications bell um, so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos so let's do this guys for the tutorial I'm making today that is my side dripped um, skirt I'm going to be starting first with my basic skirt pattern and this is my basic skirt pattern right here so you turn your basic skirt pattern into um, a pencil skirt that is at the hem you kind of pencil it at the hem a bit just a bit so you, from your from your basic skirt pattern you can go in at the end by like um, one inch or one and a half inches and then you do the same for the other side and this is a complete pattern and so this pattern also is a dartless pattern that is i don't have any waist darts on my skirt right here i already took out my darts so now the first thing i'm going to be doing um but first let me explain these lines this line this center line here is my it's just the center of my skirt that is the mid middle point of my skirt this line right here is my dart line although i don't have a dart on my skirt but this is if i was going to have a dart on my skirt this is where this is the dart uh placement that is the dart line and this is my dart line here. this is my dart line right here also now the next thing i'm going to be doing is to come right to the hem here and then i would um go in just a bit and i'll draw in curves because the skirt is a little bit curved at the hem so i'm going to draw in curves right here so to draw in those curves i'm going to first decide where i want um the opening that is where you want the opening of your skirt i'm going to decide where i want that to be so i'm just going to locate a point so i have 11 inches here right from the um, depending on how much skin you want to have on your skirt that is if you want it higher like if you want to show more skin and you want the um the middle point here that is the opening of the skirt to be uh more open that is to be higher you can raise it up more or raise it up or raise it to wherever you want that is so but for me i want it just right here so i mark that on this that line here. so at the hem of my skirt here i'm going to go in by um two inches please bear in mind that i already have my allowance i already added my allowance to the side of this pattern so i already added one and one and one inch allowance to the side one inch and half inch at the waist so right here i'm going to go in by two inches and from this other side here I'm going to measure just the bits so from this um that line here because this is well this is where um the opening will be so from this that line here i'm just going to measure um, let's say three inches or let's open it wider and just do like um four inches away from this that line here so i have that here and then from here from the side here i have two inches away so i'm going to draw a curved line from here all the way to the point here i marked earlier and also draw a curved line from here all the way to this point and this is what we are going to have so i'm just going to kind of blend this part a bit just so i don't have pointed edges so this is the blended line and i'm also going to do the same here. now the next bit is to come to the top here and draw in your drip lines and these are my drip lines so i'm just going to use my marker to mark it out that is just to thicken it so you can see the marks clearly and these are my lines you can see this is the one we drew earlier for the hem that is the curved parts at the hem and these are the drip lines here i hope you can see them clearly 
So I'm going to call this part A and then I'm going to call this part B. Then all you have to do now is to cut this open right at this point here, at this that line here. You cut it open and then you cut this out for side A and then you cut this part out for side B. So once you are done, you add allowance like half inch allowance here and then half inch allowance also for side B here. So at the hem here, you add one inch allowance, that is M allowance and one inch allowance here and at the sides, one inch, one inch and then once you cut that open here, I'm going to show you the next step for this um, pattern. Now I'm going to start with side A and I'm going to cut these lines open. That is my drip lines. So now that this is cut open, the next bit will be to place this on a blank piece of paper and then you spread it out like this. You spread it out as much as you want depending on how much drip you want to have or how much volume you want on your drip now this is it spread out so i'm just going to cut this out i spread it out by two inches you can spread it out more depending on how much fabric you have and depending on how much drips you want to have on your skirt so yeah i'm going to cut this out now and that completes side a so you're going to do the same also for side b you slash and spread open and then you uh, place on on a blank piece of pattern paper and then you spread it out again exactly this way so i'm just going to do all of this now and then i'll show you what side b looks like So I use this um, leftover Ankara fabric from one of my old videos to cut this. So if you want to um, learn how to uh, make that blouse right on top of your screen, you can click the link that is showing right on top of your screen now and that will take you right to the video tutorial on how to make that um, office sleeve um, blouse. Now so for this, uh, for this skirt, this is um, side B. I already showed you how to do side A. So the only reason why this, I, I, um, the only reason why this is like looking a bit more curved than side A here. This is side A here. You can see this is side A. So the only reason why this is looking a little bit more curved than side A is because I spread it out more. I spread this out by three inches, three inches, three inches, rather than um, spreading it out by two inches that I used on the side a part of this skirt so yeah that is really it make sure you remember to um notch this point that is this point where we marked earlier that is this is where um the gathering is going to stop so you mark mark you um notch that part and also remember to measure from your waist line here down to this notched part that is before you spread it out remember to measure from your waist line here that's your waist level here to this notched part so that um whatever you get for this one it is 15 inches so that 15 inches is what once i gather this once i um sew my gather stitch here i'll be gathering it back to that 15 inches so and then you cut if you are using an ankara fabric like me you cut your lining exactly the same way as you cut this one and then but if you are not using ankara you can you don't have to like cut lining if you want if you are using silk you really don't have to cut line all you have to do is just cut the facing for this part and then you cut a facing for your waistband for your waist rather because there's not going to be i'm not putting a waistband on this skirt so you cut away facing for your skirt that is for your waist here and then you cut a facing for this side and then your back is going to be like normal like your basic um pencil skirts uh back so that is what the back piece is going to 
that's what the back piece is going to be so your back piece is going to be your basic pencil skirts um your basic pencil skirts so and then you make sure i, I included the dots in my um back piece so i'm going to sew in my dots for the back piece and then i'll fix in my zipper in the middle right here so right now i'm going to go right ahead to sew all of this and put it together so i'll first sew in my dots here sewing my dots for the lining and then i'll fix in my zip and then for this um parts i'm going to use my lining to turn this the edges of this part that is the edges here i'm going to use my lining to turn it inside out and then i'll do the same also for side a so i'm going to do all of that now and then i'll come and show you um i'll show you what i'm talking about and so i already used my lining to turn this inside out so now all i have to do this is my waist side and this is the hem of this is side a or side b or whatever it's called so this is the notched part you can see that i already marked this part so i i what what all you have to do is to run a gather stitch through all the way to your waist so once you are done with that you begin to pull so you pull it to 15 inches you know we already measured from our waist to this point before we spread out on our pattern so whatever you get is what you gather this back to and then you do the same also for the other side this is the other side you run a gather stitch all the way through to this place so once you are done gathering this part once you, you are done pulling it all the way to 15 inches you will then place this and this right sides together and then you sew down by half inch all the way till you get to this notched part here and um, that completes the front part of your skirt so once you are done with this all you have to do then is to pick up your back piece and sew the normal way you just sew that one the way normal way you sew your basic pencil skirt you're fixing your zipper in the middle and then once you're done with that we place both the front and the back piece together so now i'm just going to go ahead to finish up all of this finish i'll finish up gathering this and then i'll sew it down by half inch and then i'll show you the next bit of this tutorial and this is what i was talking about concerning the gathers so you can see this is the waist already turned this also inside out and this is the zip at the back here and this is the hem of the skirts right here i hope you found today's tutorial helpful if you did please tap the like button if you have any questions concerning today's tutorial please type it in the comment section and i'll be happy to reply don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and um, check out these two videos on your screen if you haven't yet seen them before i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>